Hi, I'm Sky Ferreira. We're at Amoeba, and this is what's in my bag. Crystal clear, facing the light. Don't disappear. It's just what I imagine. So okay, I got Freeway. <laughs> this is one of my favorite movies. I remember the first time I saw it. My mom rented it from Blockbuster, and it was on VHS. And I think I watched it behind my mom's back, like I wasn't supposed to watch it or something. So I feel like I was like six or something. <laughs> she goes to the TV, right? And she kicks that girl's ass. Well, she kind of kicks everyone's ass, she's crazy. I have a bit of a temper too, so maybe that's why I like connect to it in some way. The whole Kiefer Sutherland thing is so weird in it. <laughs> like how people actually kind of side with him is just so bizarre. Anyways, um, this movie's insane, I love it. <laughs> the new Angel Olsen album. I'm really excited to get this actually. I, I've been listening to it nonstop. It's so like well made which is like overall, like there, I can't really, like there's nothing I could be like, well, I would have done that differently, you know? So I'm really excited to have this on by Linda Perhex, love her. I'm really excited for a new album. That's mainly why I wanted to pick this and like talk about it. I think I've listened to this album for like six years or something like that. It's crazy how she kind of um, released an album, what, like 30 years later? 40 years? I think she's a dentist too. And I thought I was never gonna see her, you know, cause it was, it was kind of like really rare. And she played a festival this summer and I was just like in awe because I've been listening to these songs for so long and she was so cute. <laughs> I know that sounds like really condescending and like I hate when people are like, oh, she, you're cute, oh, that's cute. You're like, uh, thanks, I guess. Um, but it really was sweet. And she's also really sweet on Twitter. <laughs> Actually, this was Grant. Grant makes all my videos and we live together in LA. And okay, so he bought this and then I stole it. It's the burial vinyl. I love him and also his selfie. That was kind of the main reason why I picked this, to be honest. Because <laughs> I really wanted to talk about his selfie. Because I've been like following Tumblr blogs where there's, it's like Who's Burial? There's like one on Tiesto. And then there was a Beyonce one. And then he revealed himself. I mean, I guess the other people probably gonna be this like, but I didn't. Okay, this thing. Um, I think it might be taller than me. Yeah, it's definitely taller than me because I'm wearing these heels and it's still bigger than me. I plan on putting this on my ceiling <laughs> and looking at Quinn Tarantino straight in the eyes every morning. <laughs> That's not weird, right? Obviously he's like one of my favorite directors. For the song I actually hate, that I kind of like pretended didn't exist from like six years ago, it was called Obsession, I got like forced to do it. It's like the redeeming thing about it was that I got to do a music video with Michael Madsen because I remember the music video originally, they wanted me like, to be like obsessed over a boy. And I was like, no, I want to be obsessed over Michael Madsen and like chop the ear off. But they wouldn't let me chop the ear off, so they made me do like a kiddie version where I like chop the girl's hair off. But um, I dressed as one of them and we wore matching suits and everything. And I did a mo I made a film with Eli Roth, a horror film called Green Inferno. And I'm a big horror film gore fan. Well, I'm assuming Quinn Tarantino is gonna see that, so that's kind of cool. This should be fun to get in, to fly, to, New York, to get to New York somehow. Thank you so much for talking with us today. Yeah, no problem.